What's up guys, it's Mitch with SC Weather. Hope you're having a great Saturday. Um, I'm here to give you an update on Zias and uh, currently it, it, what it's going through because it's uh, it definitely does not look well put together at all. It looks kind of weak. Uh, National Hurricane Center has kept it at a hurricane for whatever reason. 70 mile power, 75 mile per hour winds. So it's the lowest of lows hurricane officially, but uh, legitimately it's it's an fit and actually officially it's probably not a hurricane it's probably almost a, a weak tropical storm at this point but pressure uh, definitely still pinpoints at hurricane status and so it is according to the National Hurricane Center so we can't uh, go against them because they are the experts so if you haven't already please subscribe uh, hit the subscribe button down there at the bottom I would appreciate it um, just a way to support me and what I'm doing here and if you like it give the video a like and i'd appreciate it any questions definitely add them down there so let's just jump right to it so here's the national hurricane center cone right here as of 2 p.m it might be different by the time you watch this um i mean at this point this doesn't change much because we're so close now um i mean it will a little bit but it's saying it's still going to be stay a hurricane all the way through monday morning doubt that really really doubt that in fact i will say it's not at this point but it's officially still hurricane it's Isaias or Isaias, um, so it officially is. Check it out, this is the satellite imagery, the latest one of it. Yeah, that thing just east of Florida, that is supposed to be what a hurricane is. This little wave out here in the Lesser Antilles actually looks almost more impressive than official hurricane Isaias. So, man, this thing just looks puny, it looks weak, it's getting torn apart by shear and a lot of dry air is around it and the lower uh, center of circulation is completely exposed to higher cloud tops um, and basically the thunderstorms are uh, lagging behind the circulation. The circulation is outrunning its main thunderstorms on the eastern side of the storm. Well really southeastern side now. So it just doesn't have anything going on. Um, radar Im imagery and emotion I don't have that right now but it, you know it just basically <laughs> It's there, you can see it, but there is no all the way put together eye, if you will, or formation. This is definitely not like a Hurricane Hannah, which really was really starting to strengthen right before landfall. Uh, th th this is a destroyed looking hurricane. Does it have a chance? We're going to dive into it. Let's just dive into a, a couple model runs here. This is the latest, the very, very latest European model for 12Z. Check it out. This is around this time tomorrow. Uh, I would say that's probably a tropical storm, maybe hurricane scraping the eastern coast of Florida. I do, we do not know if it's going to make official landfall in Florida or not. If it doesn't, it'll be probably just a few miles off the coast, literally. But check it out, that's a thousand pressure. So that's probably a high-end tropical storm straddling the southeast coast, comes up. This is, I think, the biggest question mark of this storm. Will it re-strengthen over the Gulf Stream? Uh, sometimes that's overplayed, overhyped, because there's a lot more that goes into it, and it needs to already kind of be put together before it can really get going. But, you know, you say that too, but that tropical storm, what was it? Ah, man, I can't even think of the name. But the one that, that, that basically strengthened into a tropical storm at the last second before making an impact in South Carolina. And that really wasn't well put together. So this is the big question mark we're going to be watching is for tomorrow, for Monday. Will it quickly strengthen again before... Here's the next frame, making landfall on really what looks to be anywhere between Myrtle Beach and Wilmington. I, that is my key area. Myrtle Beach and Wilmington. Myrtle Beach area for Monday night, I think, is going to be an area to watch. We get into Tuesday. It starts to bull right into North Carolina, the coastal plains, the triangle, probably dump a few inches of rain there, up to five, six inches of rain. This is European wind speed. Uh, check it out. If you look at the graph over there, you get into the yellows and oranges and stuff. That's uh, that's tropical storm winds, and these are uh, wind speeds. They're not gusts, so it's, this is sustained. But you can tell that the eastern part of the storm is uh, is eastern heavy, which is just the eastern part of the storm is the heaviest. The eastern part of the storm will be over the ocean, so keep that in mind. This is uh, around Tuesday morning, midday. Um, it, it's already trucking inland. It's moving, uh, and this this would pinpoint it actually making landfall probably a little south of Myrtle Beach. So, 
gotta watch that and if you look at that you know that's wind speeds obviously when it gets in inland it starts to weaken so maybe 20 30 mile power sustained winds near its core near the center of uh, circulation and about to we get into late tuesday it's an afterthought here in south carolina i mean it the winds have diminished and uh we're, we're out of here so this is uh european rainfall totals um it'll be a quick hitter but i really think places myrtle beach even charleston uh, all the you know from Charleston to Myrtle Beach all the way to the border because I'm only sp specifically talking about South Carolina necessarily right now and uh, several inches of rain expected and it could come down fast it's gonna come down all at once uh, so expect this Monday night to Tuesday uh, maybe starting as early as uh, Monday midday uh, gusty winds heavy rain this is the GFS uh, man, they're, they're pretty close. He's got it is around a low-end hurricane, high-end tropical storm off the center of Florida. Zoom in close. We get into, I think this is a, GFS is a little bit slower with the storm, but you get start to get into Monday, and uh, there it is. This this is that potential to strengthen late Monday. Will it strengthen? Look at the plume of moisture north of it. That might even get into places around here in the Midlands. Got to watch that, and I'll show that into the rainfall accumulation here coming up. But check it out. Is it strengthening there? Is it not? What do we have right here late Monday off the coast? Um, is it already made landfall late Monday? Is it just off the coast about to make landfall? What is? What are we going to have? That is the big question mark. Is it going to be a tropical storm? Is it going to be a low-end hurricane? Is it going to surprise us all and all of a sudden go to a Category 2? Doubt it. Possible, though. So... Um, this is uh, probably in the middle of the night Tuesday. It makes landfall right around Myrtle Beach. Um, that's why Myrtle Beach, man, it, it could get a little dicey in that area. I don't. So it, it, then it just bull rushes into the kind of the coastal plains of North Carolina, keeps going. But check out the distinct cutoff and very heavy rain on GFS. It, if this was, uh, it, if you had to take this to the house and this is exactly what was going to happen, check out Richland County, the northern half of the county. Uh, not even an inch of rain, a half an inch of rain. You go to the far southeastern part of the county, uh, yeah, seven inches of rain, eight inches of rain. I don't think it's going to be that distinct of a cutoff, but that GFS is pointing out some very, very heavy rainfalls very far inland. One option to watch. Uh, here's the wind speeds for the GFS. Check it out. It's coming in. Eastern side of the storm is the strongest. But that's a full-fledged tropical storm right there. It's coming in. It makes landfall almost right on Myrtle Beach. But check out the uh, eastern flank of the storm, northeastern flank of the storm. Uh, that's some pretty good storm surge right there north of Myrtle Beach uh, that would be pumped on shore. So got to watch that. You get into the next frame. This is getting into Tuesday morning. Moves inland. It's out the picture. Um, so, yeah, I mean... It's something we need to watch out for. This is the hurricane intensity mops, and this will probably update next time. Maybe if y'all watch this later on, this might be different. But it has a weakened into a tropical storm for a lot of them now, and for some of them maintain hurricane strength for a while. And you got some stragglers up there trying to really strengthen it. So uh, this is the ensemble mean for the GFS, and uh, the latest one, I believe. And check it out. You, you look right there on South Carolina. It's pretty much clustered up in what it thinks it's going to do. I really am starting to think this thing makes landfall in the northern coast of South Carolina, maybe around Myrtle Beach. Um, I, re I really do think that right now. Um, that's just my gut feeling. And I think a lot of people can agree with that definitely right now. But um, so check it out. This is, a, this is the HWRF model. A lot of people criticize this model, but it does. Um, it doesn't have the worst average out there in the world, but maybe this gives you an idea right here what this thing can look like. Um, looking like it's going to make on this, on this image right here, don't take it for gold, but I mean that, 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 that would look like a little, a pure decent looking storm, right? So it's very small considered this, but in a very big cutoff and rainfall, but that would pack a punch from Myrtle Beach. It really would. Uh, I don't think it would be any widespread huge damage, but storm surge and uh, heavy, heavy rainfall and gusty winds for sure. So we need to keep an eye on that. And uh, so that's basically all I got. Um, one thing's for one thing I wanted to mention is I am thinking about me and some buddies. We may might meet up with them. I know I'll have one of my buddies with me. My cousin 
uh, are thinking about chasing the storm. So follow along, subscribe to the channel, like I said, and I'll uh, put together a video at the end if I end up chasing. A couple things depend on that. What depends on it is basically the timing. So I really don't want to chase a, a, a tropical storm at night. It just doesn't sound really appealing to me. Um, another thing would be is if it's just flat weak. But if it definitely is looking like a high end tropical storm and I can definitely get some good footage and see things during the day before it gets night, um, I definitely plan on going to storm chase my first tropical system ever. So follow along. Thank you all for watching. That is the update. One city I would mention out of the entire state, Myrtle Beach. Keep an eye out, strong winds, nothing catastrophic, but there could be some low end damage, um, heavy rain. I might have another video update video tomorrow if things look drastically change, but this may be my last video on this storm. But stay tuned and uh, thanks for watching.